गुड इवनिंग एवरी वन हाय राहुल हाय अगस्टिन हाय गायत्री चौंग वेलकम टू द क्लास यशम गुड इवनिंग गुड इवनिंग गायत्री करण जैनाब वेरी वेरी वेलकम टू द क्लास in the next 10 hours or so we are going to discuss the various types of the modules that are available in IELTS and basically what the what are the main things that we are going to discuss i have just mentioned that in this slide that you are able to see so our prime discussion will be who can mainly take ielts how can you take the ielts test and how long the certificate of the ielts is valid for and what happens if you fail for the exam can you appear for the exam once again or not and what would you be doing in case you need more than 6 bands to achieve a good quality score in ielts as most of the universities these days just consider 6 bands overall to give you the admissions and 5.5 as the minimum score in the individual modules of ielts now to achieve 6 bands what is the requirement of english grammar do you think grammar english grammar is compulsory to achieve a high score do you think your idea should be good and what is the approach to reading apart from all these things i will be testing your skills in solving the true false not given questions by showing you some assignments within the class that you are going to answer the questions in the true false not given mode and then i will be introducing you to the ielts course which we will be having on visa iq and apart from that at the end i will be giving you the home assignments and these assignments you can attempt in next 24 hours and we will be having a discussion class on these answers for or for the for the answers of this assignment tomorrow same time so let's begin with some of the main aspects of the ielts modules and we see that in the whole world how many people generally go for the module so if we just seek the credentials of ielts exam then ielts is accepted by 6000 institutes in over 135 countries these days so that's a huge number so that's why these days most of the students who seek admissions for the universities in the countries like australia new zealand go for the ielts exam and if we just go by the data then per year 1.4 million candidates take this test and this test is basically conducted by the two organizing bodies one is called the british council and the second is called the idp australia and these are the bodies for the university of cambridge esol examinations and what are the types of the test in ielts so basically ielts is divided into two main tests one is called the academic tests and the academic test is taken by the students who want to study in an english speaking university and and this it is also taken by the students who want to seek admission for the undergraduate or the postgraduate courses in the higher universities the second type of exam is called the general training module and general training module targets basically those students who want the basic survival skills in the english speaking country so they go for the general training module and general training module is also required by the candidates who want to migrate to the countries like australia canada and the new zealand so you are to basically be clear upon one thing that what kind of exam would you need would you be needing an academic test or would you be needing a general test in order to take admissions for the graduate or undergraduate courses you will have to go for the academic modules and in case you want to go for the immigration purposes then you will have to go for the general training module so these are the two types of modules two types of exams that are there in ielts now let's dig into the details further the exam basically is divided into four main modules so there are four modules and the modules are simply any aspect of a language we can divide any language into four main aspects like speaking listening writing and reading similarly the ielts exam is going to test you in all of these modules like speaking listening writing and reading speaking is the exam which is the shortest duration exam and generally takes 11 to 14 minutes of your time you just sit in front of the examiner and the examiner can ask a simple question like what is your name what are your hobbies like that and simply proceed towards the questions which are called the cue cards i will show you the cue cards in a moment and after the speaking exam you are going to have the reading module and the reading module is 60 minutes exam and 0 minute basically 0 minute is the time 
in which is to transfer the answers but for the case of reading there is no time that is given to you to transfer the answers so all that you have got are only 60 minutes to attempt the reading module similarly you have the writing module which is a 60 minute task you will be given two questions to attempt then those two questions will have to be attempted in 60 minutes and the last module is the listening module and listening module is a 30 minute exam in which an audio conversation gets played and after that you are given 10 additional minutes to transfer the answers to the answer sheet so hardly it takes your 40 minutes to appear for the exam and if we combine all the duration then the total time for the ielts modules is 2 hours and 45 minutes excluding the time which is given to you as a break or to take the refreshments so these are the four main modules for the ielts and if we just go to the details of each module then the gt reading general training reading has three sections in which 40 questions will be there and you will be given 60 minutes to attempt that and if we go for the same reading part for academic then you will be having three sections in which 40 questions will be there and the time is 60 minutes for you then we have the gt writing part in which two questions two tasks are there 150 words letter you are to attempt that is task number 1 and task number 2 is an essay which you are to attempt in 250 words and the duration for the same is again 60 minutes and if we go by the writing in academic then once again there are two tasks there is one task which is called the graph writing and the second task is once again the essay and you are to give the essay in 250 words at least so once again the time for the same is 60 minutes time and then two modules one is listening and one is